Dear students, today we will study family Liliaceae M. adensen, which is also called as Lily family. And I am your Rajkumar sir. First, we will start with the salient features of the family. Herbs with alternate or world leaves and sheathing leaf bases are included in this family. Flowers are not subtended by spathaceous bracts. Flowers are bisexual, trimerous, perianth with six petaloid tepals, stamens six, filaments free, carpels three, united, ovary superior, placentation exile, and fruit is a capsule. These are the diagnostic characters of this family. Then the classification as per Bantham and Hooker, class monocotyledony. Series coronary, order liliales, family liliaceae. The type genus is Lilium candidum, Lin. The name liliaceae comes from Lilium plus adding the suffix AC. The genus name comes from the classical Latin word Lilium means lily which in turn come from the word lerion, which is a Greek word that means truth, true. Distribution and major genera. There are about 15 genera and 650, 640 species. It is worldwide, it is widely distributed in northern hemisphere, mainly in the temperate regions. Major genera include Fritillaria 90 species, Gagia with 80 species, Tulipa with 80 species, Lilium with 75 species. These are the plants of Fritillaria, Gagia lutea, Tulipa, Lilium. Now the vegetative characters. With regard to the habit and habitat, mostly are herbs perinating by means of bulbs like Tulipa, Hyacinthus, Lilium, Fritillaria, Asphodelus, Alium, Colchicum, Gagia, etc. Or by means of rhizomes as in aloe, polygonatum, convularia. Leaf, leaf tape is modified into tendrils in Gloriosa. Stipular tendrils are present in Smilex. Or the plants may be a root parasite. Petrosavia, synonym is protolirion. Roots are mostly fibrous and adventitious but tuberous in case of asparagus. These are the photographs of Hyacinthus, Asphodelus, Alium sepa, Alium stivum, Colchicum autumnal, Aloe vera, Polygonatum multiflorum, Convularia majalis, Gloriosa, Petrosavia, Asparagus, Bovia volubilis which is also called as climbing onion or Julu potato. The stem is underground bulb as in Lilium or Tulipa or it can be rhizomes, polygonatum. The stem is aerial in Smilex and Asparagus. Needle-like cladodes are present in Asparagus. Herbaceous or thick and woody stem in Dracaena and Aloe. Flattened and leaf-like in Ruscus. Leaves are radical in Aloe and Lilium. Ramel in Smilex and Gloriosa. Leaves are scale-like in Ruscus and Asparagus. Thick and succulent in Aloe Vera. Alternate, simple. Stem is leafless in Bovia. Aloe leaves have spinous apex and prickly margins. Stipules are modified into tendrils in Smilex. Leaves are cylindrical and concentric in Alium and Asphodelus. <clears throat> this is Smilex melastomy folia, Dracaena marginata, Smilex gelanica, Ruscus hypoglossum, Bovia volubilis. Now we will study the floral characters. First, the inflorescence. Inflorescence consists of solitary flowers in Clintonia, Uniflora, and Tulipa. Racine in branched and leafless scape in Asphodelus. 
simple resin in aloe vera in panicles of resin in yucca and dracaena in alium sepa it is capigerous that is the flowers are born in heads enclosed by one or more membranous bracts or spathes the flower head is composed of many uniparous cymes disposed in an in an umbilate manner now the flowers flowers are bracteate in asparagus rascus asphodelus or ebracteate in helonia pedicellate complete or incomplete actinomorphic in haworthia the flowers are zygomorphic bisexual unisexual in smilex if unisexual they are dioecious that is they are present on different plants male plants and female plants are different hypogynous trimerous rarely dimerous as in menthemum candens where the flowers have 2 plus 2 perianth 2 plus 2 stamens and bicarpellary ovary rarely tetramerous or polymerous for example paris quadrifolia and their cyclus cyclic flowers are progynous in asphodelus and protendrous in alium these are the plants photographs of the plants haworthia haworthia helonia paris quadrifolia menthemum candens yucca clintonia uniflora androsium consists of six stamens in two whorls of three each four in menthemum three in male flowers of rascus 9 to 12 stamens in tophelia antitepalus epiphyllus filaments are very short in ophiopogon filiform in alium asparagus flattened and membranous in asphodelus and ornithogalum inserted or exserted anthers are bithicus base fixed tul as in tulipa and alium dorsi fixed in ornithogalum or versatile as in asparagus and lilium they show intros dehiscence the for example in alium asphodelus asparagus or they can also there can be extros dehiscence as in xerophyllum in case of rascus three filaments are conate forming a short tube with anthers at the top these are the photographs of tophelia ophiopogon gloriosa ornithogalum abilatum this is now the gynoecium gynoecium is tricarpellary syncarpus superior semi inferior in ophiopogon trilocular placentation is axial with many ovules in each loculus ovules are anatropous bicarpellary syncarpous and bilocular in menthemum in female flowers of rascus the ovary is unilocular with two ovules the trilocular ovary of asparagus and asphodelus has two ovules in each loculus style is simple for example asphodelus alium or it can be three parted as in gloriosa in asparagus there is a trifid stigma now the fruits fruits are loculicidal or a septicidal capsule or a berry for example smilex and asparagus <coughs> seeds are endospermic with regard to the floral formula it can be bracteate or ebracteate first symbol br or ebr then actinomorphic then it's the bise- bisexual symbol rarely unisexual symbols male or female flowers then perianth perianth is in 3 plus 3 united or 3 plus 3 free or 2 plus 2 arrangement then the androsium consists of six stamens in 3 plus 3 arrangement or 2 plus 2 arrangement or it can be three and the perianth are epiphyllous that is they are attached with the uh, sorry the stamens are epiphyllous that is they are attached with the perianth filaments are attached with the perianth then the gynoecium gynoecium is tricarpellary syncarpous and re- superior 
the uh, line should be below the three and rarely it is tricarpillary syncarpus and inferior now we will study the pollination pollination is by insects sometimes self pollination in case of yucca pollination takes place in a unique and interesting way in this plant stamens are very short stamens are short and style is a is hollow pollination takes place by a moth called tageticulae yucca synonym pronuba yucca sella which collects pollen and forms it into a ball and presses this ball into the stigmatic cavity while doing so the moth punctures the ovary and deposits egg among the ovules which hatch and feed upon the growing seeds in tulip the garlic insect visits for the sake of pollen in paris quadrifolia particular smell attracts the flies in case of yucca i will say it again the po pollination the <coughs> the pollinator and the uh, and the plant they are mutually dependable the pollination cannot be completed in yucca with the with the uh, without uh, tageticulae and tageticulae cannot complete uh, produce its young ones without yaka they are mutually dependable with regard to the economic importance the family produces vegetables like onion allium sepa garlic also has a medicinal importance shallot allium ascalonicum leek allium porum etc <coughs> during world war 2 starvation conditions in netherlands led to the using of tulip bulbs as tulip bulbs as food calocortus bulbs were eaten by native americans and by the mormon settlers in utah during starvation other members of the family used used for food includes clintonia for leaves mediola for roots erythronium for combs fritillaria for bulbs these are the allium ampelopressum clintonia shallot mediola allium porum this is med mediola virginiana erythronium this family produces lots of medicinal plants also among them asparagus racemosus which is called as shatavari interesting cheez kya hai shatavari ka matlab shatavari means a a female having 100 husbands this is this is basically a female general tonic and a female reproductive tonic it prevents aging increases longevity imparts immunity improves mental functions and it is also used in nervous disorders dyspepsia tumors inflammation neuropathy hepatopathy sarsa parilla smilax gelanica and other species dried roots from sarsa parilla which is a blood purifier indian aloe vera is also used for antioxidant and antibacterial properties it accelerates the healing of burns reduces dental plaque helps treat canker sores reduces constipation and may improve skin and prevents wrinkles lowers blood sugar levels colchicine obtained from autumn crocus this is different from the saffron crocus which is saffron call the autumn crocus botanical name is colchicum autumnal and the glory glory lily which is all called called as gloriosa is used for the treatment of gout and familial mediterranean fever and in plant breeding it is used to produce polyploid strains fritillaria extracts are used in traditional chinese medicine as antipyretic expectorants the species of both agave and yucca are used in the manufacture of oral contraceptives now it produces very beautiful ornamental plants many species like tulipa fritillaria lilium erythronium calocortus triceratus they are grown as ornamental plants worldwide other important plants are glory lily 
Gloriosa Superba, Daylily, Hemarocallus Fulva, <coughs> Dagger Plant or Adam's Needle, Yaka Gloriosa, Dragon Plant, Dracaena, Sensivera, Laurentii, Green Foliage with Yellow or White Margins, Butcher's Broom, Rascus, Aculeatus, Asphodel, Asphodelus, Tenufolium, Asparagus, Plumosus, etc. The plants also yield fibers. Several species like Agave, Sisalana, Sisal Ham, Agave, Heterocantha, Isol Fiber or Mexican Fiber, Agave, Mauritiae, Kerato Fiber are important sources of fibers. Asparagus stalks are all commonly eaten as vegetables also. The family is useful in contributing garlic, onion, leek, chives, which are important vegetables or flavoring agents. Onion seeds are often used as substitute for nigella. Now, another interesting thing about the tulip garden of Srinagar, which is which is uh, named as Indra Gandhi Memorial Tulip Garden. It is the largest tulip garden in Asia, spread over an area above, of about 30 hectares and situated on the foothills of Jabra One Range with an overview of Dal Lake. It was opened in 2007. It's an annual event and it is organized during the onset of the spring season in Kashmir Valley and since opening on 9th, 19th March 23, 3.65 lakh visitors, including locals, till 18th April 2023 visited this tulip garden and it is one of the uh, most attractive destinations in Srinagar. And then you might have heard about the famous tu Dutch tulip bubble bulb market bubble <clears throat> the dutch tulip bulb market bubble also known as tulip mania was one of the most famous market bubbles and crashes of all time jaise share market crash karta hai exactly waise hi exactly in the same manner wahan par ye tulip mania tha jahan par tulip bulbs ki jo sale hua karti thi aur us tulip bulbs ki jo sale hai wo crash hui thi Tulips were introduced in Netherlands or Holland in 1593 with the bu bubble occurring primarily from 1634 to 1637. It occurred in Holland during the early to mid 1600s when the speculation drove the value of tulip bulbs to the extremes. At the height of the market, the rarest tulip bulbs traded for as much as six times the average person's annual salary. Today, today the Tulip mania serves as a parable for the pitfalls that excessive greed and speculation can lead to. Ab jo hai tulip mania un us situation ke liye use karte hain jahan par aapka jo hai lalach aur lalsaan itni bad jati hain jisse ki behad khatarnak nuksan ho jata hai. Us uske liye hum tulip mania word bhi use karte hain. And thank you, thank you very much. These are the sources from where I have taken the photographs. And I am thankful though, uh, to these sources also. And this is the suggested readings. And thank you dear students and all my sources from where I have taken the beautiful flowers. And thank you, thank you very much. And hope so you are following the lectures. <coughs>